Lisa, have you tried any new recipes lately? Yes, I have. Actually, I've been attending a cooking class to learn some new dishes. That sounds like fun. What kind of cuisine are you learning? It's mostly Italian and Mediterranean dishes. I've always loved those flavors, so I wanted to learn how to make them at home. Have you made anything from the class that you really enjoyed? Oh, definitely. I made this amazing homemade pasta with a creamy Alfredo sauce last week that turned out surprisingly well. That sounds delicious. Do you go to the cooking class every week? I try to go once a week. It's a nice break from routine, and I get to meet new people who share the same passion for cooking. Have you noticed an improvement in your cooking skills since you started? Absolutely. I've learned so many techniques that have elevated my dishes. Plus, it's inspired me to get more creative in the kitchen. Do you cook for friends and family often? Yes, whenever I get the chance. It's fun to share the dishes I've learned with them and see their reactions. Well, count me in for the next tasting session, Lisa. It sounds like you're becoming a very talented chef. I'd love that, Sarah. Cooking is not just about making food. It's about creating experiences and memories around the table. Lisa, have you tried any new recipes lately? Yes, I have. Actually, I've been attending a cooking class to learn some new dishes. That sounds like fun. What kind of cuisine are you learning? It's mostly Italian and Mediterranean dishes. I've always loved those flavors, so I wanted to learn how to make them at home. Have you made anything from the class that you really enjoyed? Oh, definitely. I made this amazing homemade pasta with a creamy Alfredo sauce last week that turned out surprisingly well. That sounds delicious. Do you go to the cooking class every week? I try to go once a week. It's a nice break from routine, and I get to meet new people who share the same passion for cooking. Have you noticed an improvement in your cooking skills since you started? Absolutely. I've learned so many techniques that have elevated my dishes. Plus, it's inspired me to get more creative in the kitchen. Do you cook for friends and family often? Yes, whenever I get the chance. It's fun to share the dishes I've learned with them and see their reactions. Well, count me in for the next tasting session, Lisa. It sounds like you're becoming a very talented chef. I'd love that, Sarah. Cooking is not just about making food. It's about creating experiences and memories around the table. What has Lisa been doing to learn new dishes? What has Lisa been doing to learn new dishes? Lisa, I noticed you seem really relaxed lately. Have you been doing something different? Yes, I've been practicing mindfulness meditation in nature. That sounds peaceful. Where do you usually go for it? There's a quiet spot by the river in the park near my house. It's surrounded by trees and the sound of flowing water. It's perfect for meditation. How did you get into mindfulness meditation? I started reading about its benefits for reducing stress and increasing focus. Nature just seemed like the ideal setting to practice it. Have you noticed any changes since you started? Definitely. I feel more confident and less overwhelmed by daily pressures. It's helped me stay present and appreciate the little moments more. Do you go alone or do you sometimes go with someone? I usually go alone to really immerse myself in the experience, but I've thought about inviting friends who might enjoy it too. It must be refreshing to disconnect and just be in the moment. It really is. Nature has this calming effect that helps me reset and find clarity. I might join you sometime, Lisa. It sounds like a great way to recharge. I'd love that, Sarah. It's always nice to share moments of peace and serenity with friends.
Lisa, I noticed you seem really relaxed lately. Have you been doing something different? Yes, I've been practicing mindfulness meditation in nature. That sounds peaceful. Where do you usually go for it? There's a quiet spot by the river in the park near my house. It's surrounded by trees and the sound of flowing water. It's perfect for meditation. How did you get into mindfulness meditation? I started reading about its benefits for reducing stress and increasing focus. Nature just seemed like the ideal setting to practice it. Have you noticed any changes since you started? Definitely. I feel more confident and less overwhelmed by daily pressures. It's helped me stay present and appreciate the little moments more. Do you go alone or do you sometimes go with someone? I usually go alone to really immerse myself in the experience, but I've thought about inviting friends who might enjoy it too. It must be refreshing to disconnect and just be in the moment. It really is. Nature has this calming effect that helps me reset and find clarity. I might join you sometime, Lisa. It sounds like a great way to recharge. I'd love that, Sarah. It's always nice to share moments of peace and serenity with friends. What changes has Lisa noticed since starting meditation? What changes has Lisa noticed since starting meditation? Lisa, I heard you've been getting into pottery. How's that going? It's been amazing, Sarah. I've been attending a weekly pottery workshop and learning so much. That sounds like a lot of fun. What kind of things do you make in the workshop? Right now, I'm focusing on making bowls and mugs. It's challenging but really rewarding when you see your creations take shape. Have you always been interested in pottery? Not really, but I've always admired handmade ceramics. I wanted to try something new and creative, and pottery seemed like a great fit. Do you have a favorite part of the process? I love the wheel spinning. There's something fascinating about shaping the clay on the wheel and turning it into something functional and beautiful. Have you made anything you're really proud of? I made this set of mugs with a unique glaze pattern last week that turned out better than I expected. It's exciting to see my skills improve over time. That sounds impressive. Do you plan to continue with pottery? Absolutely. It's become a therapeutic activity for me, a way to relieve stress and express myself creatively. Well, if you ever need someone to test out your new creations, count me in. It sounds like a relaxing and fulfilling hobby. I'd love that, Sarah. It's always nice to share my passion for pottery with friends. Lisa, I heard you've been getting into pottery. How's that going? It's been amazing, Sarah. I've been attending a weekly pottery workshop and learning so much. That sounds like a lot of fun. What kind of things do you make in the workshop? Right now, I'm focusing on making bowls and mugs, it's challenging but really rewarding when you see your creations take shape. Have you always been interested in pottery? Not really, but I've always admired handmade ceramics. I wanted to try something new and creative, and pottery seemed like a great fit. Do you have a favorite part of the process? I love the wheel spinning. There's something fascinating about shaping the clay on the wheel and turning it into something functional and beautiful. Have you made anything you're really proud of? I made this set of mugs with a unique glaze pattern last week that turned out better than I expected. It's exciting to see my skills improve over time. That sounds impressive. Do you plan to continue with pottery? Absolutely. It's become a therapeutic activity for me, a way to relieve stress and express myself creatively. Well, if you ever need someone to test out your new creations, count me in. It sounds like a relaxing and fulfilling hobby. I'd love that, Sarah. 
It's always nice to share my passion for pottery with friends. What is Lisa currently making in her pottery workshop? What is Lisa currently making in her pottery workshop?